Hello everyone! Today we are going to swatch the Afternoon Tea Collection by Renaissance Colors. She is on Etsy, so I will leave a link in the description below. It comes in this super adorable tin. Um, she even sent me a couple dot cards. Um, not because she knew I had a channel, just that was part of her order. Um, I didn't even reach out or say anything to her. <laughs> I was just a regular old Etsy buyer. Um, and I had bought this one because it looked super cute. So, it's uh, a glittery paint, obviously, but look how full these half pans are. So they come with a magnet, always appreciated. And then, obviously, the tin. And these things are, like, flowing over. <laughs> so I'm going to spray these to activate them. There's eight colors. I'm going to be swatching in my etcher. <clears throat> We have it already done here. Um, I just used my stamps that I have from the lovely Arit. Um, they're called this water watercolor sketchbook stamps. So I went ahead and created that. I just used a little square because I was feeling kind of lazy. Um, to reactivate these, I'm just going to use my little spritzer bottle. Now, <clears throat> over time, metal will rust as I'm sure you could guess. I'll see how this works with a spritzer. If not, I may end up using a pipette. I'm gonna fill up my paint puck with some water. I always have bottled water in my art studio and often <laughs> my kids are like, why do you have so much bottled water in here? Because I literally have like a little eight pack over there. It is for filling up my paint puck. Um, I don't use the tap water, even though we have excellent filtration. I'm just a water snob. <laughs> if, <laughs> if I won't drink it, my paints don't touch it. <laughs> so, I guess that's my motto. <laughs> Gosh, that sounds awful. Um, <clears throat> but it's true. I wouldn't even drink the water from my fridge. It drives my husband nuts. All right, so I'm hoping I have these all in the right order. Otherwise, that's going to make this a little awkward. But let's see. Oh, wow, these reactivate fast. Woohoo! All right, so let's, let's swatch out sketch. Oh, my gosh, these are so glittery. Glittery goodness. Oh, my gosh. I'm just using a Princeton Neptune round size 6. I prefer 8 through 12, <laughs> um, but those brushes are a little big for this and I couldn't find my size 8 round. Okay, now we're on the Dilly. Those of you in the UK, these names will make a lot more sense. I've got too much water on this one, you can see it, <clears throat> but that's okay. You can make these as concentrated or as watered down as you want. Now we are on the Ritz, and I'll also swatch the little cards that she included. Oh, I love the way the glitter moves on this paper. Wow. Okay, <clears throat> Fortnum and Mason. I apologize um, for the sniffles or any mispronunciations. <laughs> Blanket apology. Oh, this glitter just like. And it's, it's very nice, very nice glitter. It's very fine. Aqua shard. So it's not sticking all up in my bristles, which I appreciate. Although the paint puck, the bottom of it will <clears throat> pretty much knock any glitter out of your bristles. But I love it because it's so fine that it, it's like just moving. Oh my goodness. Sorry, it's like... Seriously, if you buy these or any glitter paint, sit there and swatch it and just watch it move. It's like alive. It's like a creature. <laughs> Dorchester. Hope I said that right. Apologies if not. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have a page I just finished that this would have been perfect on. Oh my goodness. Wow. <clears throat> All right, I switched up the camera angle because I noticed it was not showing the pretties as pretty as I wanted them. All right, so 
Now we're on to one uh, Aldwych. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. So apologies. Just get some on my brush here. Hopefully it doesn't zoom in and out. That's bane of my existence these days. But just look at how that glitter moves around on this. This is 100% cold press cotton paper. Should have said 100% cotton first, but <clears throat> you know what I meant. <laughs> this is Berkeley. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I gotta like hold this up so you guys can see it. Like watch it just. That is some beautiful glitter action. Okay, so I'm gonna let these dry because while wet, they're gorgeous, but we want to see how they dry. So I will be back. Okay, so we are all dry. And yes, I'm still stuffy. But these colors are luscious. <laughs> like I said, the fine glitter in here is... That's glitter. <laughs> that's all glitter. And I even had these pretty wet. Like, look at that. The fine glitter oh my that's not the ridges of the paper that is all glitter um so kudos to her on her milling action i don't know how she sat and milled that long but <laughs> she is using a very high quality glitter um the way these re-wet were absolutely amazing unfortunately i can't smell right now so i don't know if they have clove oil in them <laughs> I personally love this, the smell of clove oil, but I know not everyone does. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. I did put them, swatch them in the tin, but these are still wet, so I made them a little more concentrated. Um, this card inside here is not watercolor paper. I don't know what it is. It's very, very smooth, so it moves. Um, and no, I was not trying to actually color in the lines of the teapot. So I just put little dots of what each one was, but these are beautiful. The water, I don't know if it's going to catch on camera, probably won't. Okay, see that swirl of glitter in there? Let me just, let me mix it up for you. See that? That's all glitter just swirling around in there. I mean... There we go, and now the light caught it. Isn't that crazy? Oh, it's beautiful. And the water is clear. The water's clear, it just has the glitter. So, like I said, these are straight up glitter. <laughs> um, so, you're not getting uh, a bunch of filler or anything, you're legit getting glitter paints. Now, I don't know what she uses to make hers, and obviously there's only so much they'll tell us anyways because, you know, I want to keep it a secret. But these are so pretty. I love the color uh, combos. The only thing I would say I would like a little swap on because I love that I have a pink. I've got a purple. I've got a teal. i got a green. I've got like a bronzy color. This is gold. These two are a little close uh, for me. This kind of has like a rose gold tinge. Whereas this one's a little browner, but I feel like something else could have been thrown in there. But that's just my only negative. Am I trying to look for things wrong with this? Absolutely not. I love this. I would buy this again. <laughs> um, but that's just the one thing I'm noticing here is like, uh, these are kind of similar. So, but these are, wow. And you can still get these transparent if you need to. See my stamp showing through? So that's awesome. I am amazed at the shimmer factor and the coverage you get on your paper. Look at that. All glitter. I know you're like, I get it. All glitter. But I have to show you this because this, these are not cheap. Um, and you do have to pay for shipping from the UK. So I like to show you kind of what you're getting for your money when it comes to something like this. Um, but they are well packaged. I wish I would have saved the packaging because it came in a cute little bag, but I had actually purchased these a while ago and just got to swatching. <laughs> so it's part of the big swatch party we had all discussed from my last watercolor haul. So yeah, this is the Renaissance 
the afternoon tea collection. Let me know if you own this in the comments below, what you use it for. I'd love to know. This works great for adult coloring as well as just watercolor. I could sit, you know, make my florals using this, especially with how concentrated that glitter is. So I am very excited to play with these. But thank you all for hanging out with me today and having some sparkly fun. And until next time, take care. Bye now.